Have you got a microscope, Christian? No. Well, lots of kids would like them, but they're mm -hmm. kind of expensive, aren't they? Yes. And yet, I sent you over to my friend Bud Wentz, and he showed you how to make one. And what does he need? The most important ingredient? Water. Yes, drop of water. Well, I've collected everything that you need, and the important thing here is if you have a piece of plastic like that that's come in a refrigerator jar, and you put a drop of water on it, watch what happens. It just, just magnified all the words. Yes, it magnifies all the letters. In fact, you can pick it up and make it magnify even more. Yeah. Okay, now, the big important question is why? I don't know. Well, a, a glass magnifier is sort of a rounded surface on it, isn't it? Yeah. And the light, when it's reflected through there, is bent in such a way so that magnifies things. Oh, So that's what you've got okay. here in the drop of water. I get it's it. It's a transparent material with a rounded surface so it'll bend the light the right way. I get it. Well, that's a simple magnifier, but Bud showed you how to make a real... Microscope. Microscope. And I think I've collected everything you need, so start from the beginning. What do you do? Okay, you need a jar mm -hmm. with a wide mouth mm -hmm. here. And you need a, the jar lid mm -hmm. with a little piece of plastic in, which came from Right, I this. took it off of that, yeah. right. And then you tape it on, and you put a little wee hole inside the... It's inside the, the lid there, and you put yeah. the plastic over the top. So there's, you can see a little hole through right. the glass. Okay. Then you have just foil on a piece of cardboard mm -hmm. there. And why is it sitting on that piece of paper? Uh, so you can turn it, right? Yeah, okay. Okay. I see. So what then what? Then you put the jar on top here, yeah. and then you turn it to see where the light is, and then it would reflect it and come through okay. the glass. the light's hitting that aluminum foil mm -hmm. and bouncing up to your eye. Okay. There, I got okay. it. And then you put whatever you're going to magnify. We're going to do salt, right? Okay, salt's good. Okay, and then put a little wee bit, not too much. Mm -hmm. And then you've got to make sure it's spread it around so that you can see. Because you want to see, see around each grain, mm -hmm. right? And then Next. you, you, you have that. And then you put a little, tiny little drop of water on, on the surface yeah. where the, ho where the right little over the hole. hole. Okay. But you got to make sure it's right over the hole. You, you want to use a medicine dropper? Okay, sure. So. Because I also have toothpicks over here. They work too if you don't have mm -hmm. a medicine dropper, right? Well, let's try the toothpicks. Okay, you want to try toothpicks? Right. Now, what are you trying to do here? Okay, you need to get a little drop on mm -hmm. the toothpick. Mm -hmm. Now, why are you trying to be so precise? What is, it, what is it that you're trying to accomplish here? Well, we want to get it right over the center so that we can see a better... And it also, better. you want a very small drop, don't you? Right. Because the smaller the drop, the more curvature, and therefore the higher the magnification. Mm-hmm. You're right. Right over the center. There. Okay. I got it. Now, what do you do? Now, you put this over the top. Mm-hmm. And you look directly through, and you can you can lift it up a little bit to focus. Okay. Focus in on the salt. On the salt. See if I can find some here. There. And then you can easily just take a look at it. Yeah, great. So that means you could put all kinds of things in there mm -hmm. uh, on top on top of the the or the bottom of the jar, which is now the top, mm -hmm. and look at it with your little microscope. Now, the, how much did you magnify? Have any idea? No idea. Well, come on over here. I have the same salt set up here with my special equipment. Here is the salt sitting on a, 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 I have it scotch taped to the front of a piece of glass. Mm -hmm. And it's being reflected over here to the uh, lens, through the television camera, and finally up here to my little monitor. Wow. Is that about what the salt looked like? It looks just like it. Yeah. You said little, what, cubes or squares? They're yeah. actually cubes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, let's see how much magnification that is. I'll take this down. Here's my little television setup here, my little monitor. What's the width of the screen? What does it measure? 15 centimeters. 150 millimeters. Oh, yes, 150 uh -huh. millimeters. Okay, 15 centimeters, 150 millimeters. Now I'll put a scale here with my microscopes, or sort of really long lens setup, and there are millimeters again. Oh, I see. Okay, how many have you got? Got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven. Okay. If we take seven millimeters and magnify it, so now it takes a space of 150 millimeters, how much are we magnifying? 
Oh, okay, let's see. Uh... Round 20? Yeah, 20 times. And that's, that's a fairly easy magnification to achieve with a water drop microscope. And if you make a real tiny drop and get everything working right, you can get up to 40 times. So you really have mm -hmm. quite a bit of magnification. Well, because you and I both can't look through the water drop microscope, I've collected a bunch of stuff to look at at this magnification of 20 times. You recognize that? That's a um, bicycle reflector. Bicycle reflector. And if you take a look at it magnified 20 times, look what you see. Look at that. Yeah. Wow, I never knew it looked like yeah. that inside. Well, the reason it looks like that is that the scientist who uh, discovered this principle and made these kind of reflectors realize that when light goes into it, it bounces around inside all those little prisms and comes right back out at the same angle that it went in. And that's wow. why you notice when a car light hits it, it really shines. And that's the reason, because it's made up of those little six-sided uh, prisms. Now, you probably have never looked at uh, one of the most common things, and that's a watch. Take a look at a watch magnified 20 times. Okay. And of course, you, if it's an open kind of watch, you could see all kinds of things. But the thing that I wanted you to see was what happens to the minute hand. There's the minute hand. See, here's the hour hand up here, okay? Here's the minute okay. hand. Now, when magnified 20 times, you're also magnifying the movement of Look the minute hand. Look at that! Hand. You can see it moving. Yes, you can actually see the minute hand move when you make, because you're magnifying the movement by the same uh, factor as you are the size. Wow! Then one of the most interesting things to look at, you can go to any pet shop or aquarium shop and get brine shrimp. And there, there are little tiny things that, that uh, aquarium people feed to their fish. And they, you, put, you just put their, uh, the um, eggs in water, salt water, and let them sit for 24, 36 hours or so. And you now can look at real live animals. There they are. Look at them. And when you look at them from here, they're so small. Yes. Now you can see everything. They're, they're the eggs in the bottom, see? Wow. If you watch them, you can even see some of them being born. So this is a nice thing to look under your water drop microscope because you can put a little pile of water there and put the little drying shrimp down, get down your water drop lens, and, uh, and observe them. So you did very well with the microscope. Good luck with yours. You can make one now anytime you want, can't you?